We have a couple of questions before we move on. Um, I don't have many questions, but um, one I was uh, I wasn't sure about was why was she so upset when he asked her if what she was watching was better than Mr. Ed? Because she was like watching something about the royals, uh, guessing it was a something from the presidency um, and thinking about better times. But she was like weirdly like very stoic and like didn't even look at him and just flipped off the TV and I don't know. I think she was just in not in a joking mood. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Like he was contemplating life and her life and death and her impending death and all that. And now she's been relegated to living in this room, but she used to be able to go to functions like that. And I don't think he picked up on it. So Mm. Because he didn't really okay. see what she was, or I guess he saw what she was watching, but probably didn't understand why she was watching it. Yeah. I do like um, <clears throat> that they didn't just immediately make that switch of yeah. like when uh, they have their conversation in the bar and all that kind of stuff. It isn't like they're just best buds after mm-hmm. that. Like she's yeah. still contemptuous and like mm-hmm. <laughs> pushing but, uh, back at him. They're, they're friends enough that he can make that joke. He couldn't crack, he wouldn't have cracked that joke at the start of the, the movie. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know. Uh, but sure. then he also understands when she doesn't joke back. He just kind of like, okay, I'll give her a space. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, yeah. I think maybe her just looking back on better times and like, God, things used to be good. And now I'm dying and mm-hmm. I have to live in this goddamn house. If kids don't even talk to her, <laughs> yeah. come spend time with, she's got no one to spend time with. Mm-hmm. And that <clears throat> is, is kind of her surrogate child mm-hmm. at this point. Now. Yeah. Um, how are they suddenly able to use the information Earl gave them after Schaefer said that they wouldn't be able to? I think he just meant they couldn't use it in court. Like, yeah, it was under duress, but they could use it in part of the active investigation just to find her. And that's all Doug cared about. Does that mean that Earl is going to get off scot free? <laughs> Maybe. I think, I think Earl's, yeah, I think Earl's. I mean, I'm assuming future. he would take some kind of plea deal and just mark out his, his brother and her sister mm-hmm. and brother in law since they were the ones that put him up to it. It did seem like they put him up to it and he was just weaselly enough to not to go along with it. Um, yeah. Like I said, yeah. the $15 million seems pretty steep for, but it, you know, <laughs> they're idiots. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Like real they're salt dumb. of the earth. Yeah. They're, yeah, yeah, they're real salt of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ohio farm people. <laughs> just, we want safe drinking water. That's all we want. <laughs> <laughs> They're like keeper. Should have to put in a well. We're never going to meet your demands. Just keeper. I, I mean, I would assume that they would expect them to lowball them, or I don't know. Maybe they wanted it to seem like a terrorist organization, and if they'd only asked for like two million dollars, that something would have been up. You know? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. They wanted it to seem like a big time operation rather than just two yokels kidnapping her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's see. I know she made a call to the president and all, but like, wouldn't Doug's career be completely over after that whole hospital debacle? That was my main question. (laughs) No, because he would, he's, he's going to get a presidential pardon at that point. I know. I don't think he'd be charged. Who wants to hire this guy? (laughs) Yeah. I don't think it's even discounting the fact that he shot Earl's foot. Like he lost her, like he failed his job as the head of secret security. So why does he even get to keep working in secret security or uh, secret service? So, and I assume, uh, this is just my head canon is that he works for Tess until she dies and then he's fired from the secret service. Right. (laughs) I figured she hired him all on his private security instead. And then Uh, maybe she was just telling the president like, Hey, when I die, take care of this guy, make sure he gets a nice job or something or pension or whatever, just to make sure that he's, cause she knows he's not going to be able to work as a secret service agent <laughs> <Yeah>. again. <laughs> You'd probably just I send mean, him over like, to CIA. He could go interrogate people. If we hadn't shown him like actually shooting Earl, like, <laughs> we just had to like put the gun to his head and, and then he gets the confession. Like it would have yeah. been okay. But like the fact that he <laughs> actually fires the gun in a hospital <laughs> And blows off a guy's toe is like, <laughs> really I think it's just to show he's that desperate to find out where she is because mm-hmm. he knows she's going to die. 
So he doesn't yeah. really care if he goes to prison for shooting this guy or it screws their investigation up. He only cares about finding her. And he's so pissed. He doesn't like Earl anyway. So maybe he's always wanted to shoot True, Earl. Yeah. <laughs> so he's dreamed of shooting this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he almost beats him up. When yeah. He says he's fired. <laughs> yeah. This is maybe that's, this is just all of those incidents <laughs> boiling to it. <a> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> I just can't see him like actually being able to keep his job after this <laughs> in any capacity. Yeah. Really. I mean, at the very least, Earl could probably sue him for shooting him. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's all I really have. Um, as far as questions, I feel like the movie was pretty well, like contained. There weren't like a ton of things where I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, any other questions? Uh, the only other one I had was when when they followed her car to the doctor's office, like wouldn't why did nobody figure out that she was there for a brain tumor? Like they we don't really see that it's a doctor's office from the outside, but like there's got to be signage saying, you know, yeah. <laughs> on ecology department or something that the rest of them would have picked up on. Like she was going there for a, some kind of an appointment unless Doug or someone knows that and they just keep it under under wraps mm. and they don't say anything about it. It just seemed like that was kind of a weird thing to sort of cover up or not explain fully. Cause they're obviously there with her when she goes in, they don't follow her in, but they can sort of piece together that she's there for some kind of cancer appointment. Yeah. Unless it's I mean, a completely it, unmarked building, which would be bizarre for a medical <laughs> facility. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to me, it seemed like it was like maybe one of those multi-use office buildings and they weren't sure exactly what, office she was going to but i also kind of got the sense that doug knew um and that he wasn't saying anything because of the whole thing with the president's affairs and yeah, stuff like it can be discreet yeah he's very discreet about this and like when he's told later on in the by schaefer uh that they that she had an inoperable brain tumor he kind of gives a look like he he already knew i mean she did literally tell him to his face yeah. that she had an inoperable brain tumor, but he, you know, it's, it's painted to us. Like he thought she was joking, but maybe mm -hmm. he knew, maybe he knew all along he pieced together he knew the before stuff that. after the fact. Yeah. <clears throat> Cause if we go by the rationale that the first time that Earl took off with her was to get her checked out to see if she had the brain tumor, um, then he might've pieced it together then figured it all out i guess another one why were any of them allowed to be around during the investigation when the rest of secret service and the cia and the fbi all came in like wouldn't <laughs> yeah. they have all been taken at least into questioning and not <laughs> removed and, and been completely removed and potentially treated as suspects because it's like why were none of you around when this happened yeah. are you all collaborating or something weird going on that said they're just sort of allowed to hang out but just not be involved it just seemed kind of bizarre <laughs> Yeah, I find that incredibly unrealistic. Uh, but <laughs> like at the very least, I think Doug would have been dismissed and sent back to, you know, disciplinary actions before his boss for failing at his yeah. job uh, and probably yeah. removed off of it entirely. I mean, especially after he shoots off Earl's toe. Like, <laughs> at that point, it's like, get this fucking man off the street. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 